Hey everyone, Thunderbob here, and I wanted to uh, make another video. I know I've done two already for this G34 monitor, um, but there have been a lot of questions in the comments, and I thought I would address those uh, three major ones. Uh, first off, uh, can the monitor be overclocked? Uh, I've done some testing on it, and yes, you can overclock the monitor, though there's enough frame drops that I don't think anyone is going to want to. Uh, unless they can find a, a way to get the frame drops to go away. Uh, and I'm gonna do some testing and, and show you that shortly. Uh, two, uh, does the OSD Sidekick application work with this monitor? And from my findings, short answer, no. Uh, I'll get into the whys in just a minute. Uh, third question, have I experienced any of the flickering that has been reported? And to date, I've had this monitor uh, about three weeks. I've played uh, you know, a dozen or more games and uh, I have not experienced any flickering in games. I've had some very minor flickering in an application that I use for video editing. Um, I was able to resolve that by turning it off uh, in um, non full screen apps, uh, but I actually turned it on for my testing recently just to make sure it's on and everything. And I have not encountered any additional flickering. Um, I'm not sure if that might mean that this is something only some models are experiencing, or it might indicate that um, there is some kind of software configuration issue. Maybe it's a driver, maybe it's the video card you're running, maybe it's a combination of multiple things, but I don't appear to be having issues right now. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna go into more detail on overclocking and also go through some, some testing on this just to demonstrate uh, how it runs both overclocked and normal. So let's jump right into it. Okay, to get more in depth on the um, refresh rate issue, the question if you can overclock this, this is how I did it to answer your first questions. Uh, by default, you know, you get your 3440 by 1440. These refresh rates are what you have available. Um, I'm right now on 144. You can actually create custom um, resolutions and refresh rates. You go to customize. I've already created a good number of them. I started at 150, 155, 165, jumped to 180, jumped to 240. And the monitor physically works. It turns on, uh, it runs. I actually played Counter-Strike and I'll show you a quick clip here, even at 240 Hertz. Though the, the actual um, frame drops were almost, I think, noticeable even in game. And, um, and I'm gonna show you some results from a test in just a minute, but uh, you can come here and click Create Custom Resolutions. And then right here, you can create custom resolutions and custom refresh rates. So I bumped this up just a little bit to 150 to first test it and just gradually went up all the way to 240. And um, at this point, if I want to change between them, I click on this little custom drop down. I can bump it up to 240 and uh, you hit apply. And then it'll ask you, are you sure? click yes and if I go to my desktop and I go to display settings and I go to display 240 refresh rate I actually have it turned on the monitor to show my refresh rate as well and it is showing 240 Hertz on the monitor OSD as well so it is it is showing 240 Hertz the problem though is when you actually play games and you run some tests, it's, it's dropping a lot of frames. Um, enough that I don't think it's worth even overclocking to 150. Even at 150, I was dropping some frames. And at 144, it was consistent enough that I would keep it at 144. So here I've got my monitor overclocked to 240 hertz and I'm running Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And there's a noticeable amount of screen tearing compared to it running at 144. Um, just it, it, it looked a little off when I played and I couldn't quite understand why initially. And then I did a little bit of research and it seems like I'm dropping a lot of frames when you increase the, uh, Hertz of the monitor, uh, either to, you know, 150, 180, 240, you get a whole lot of frame drops. And I'm going to demonstrate that in these next couple of screenshots. Okay. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but this is an image taken from the UFO uh, frame skipping test. Basically, you take an image, a 
picture of your screen when this test is running and you get these boxes and you should get all of the boxes in a row if it's working correctly if you're not skipping any frames if you get a bunch of blank spaces in between it means you're skipping frames and if you look closely on the 144 pictures it's perfect but on anything above that even 150 I get some pretty terrible frame skipping. So the answer is yes you can overclock the monitor all the way up to 240 Hertz. I don't think you want to. With this level of frame skipping you're better off at 144. Okay so now the question about using the OSD sidekick. First off uh, here is Gigabyte's website showing their different monitors. If I go to the G32 for example I go to support. Right here they have the download for the OSD sidekick. If I was to uh, look at the manual for this monitor, which I did, it actually shows instructions for the OSD sidekick. If I go back and look at G34WQC, and I go to support, there is no download for the OSD sidekick. If I pull up the manual, there is no instructions for the OSD sidekick. Um, if you pull up the manual for the OSD sidekick software uh, on the G32QC, it actually tells you that you need to plug in one end of your USB A mail to B mail cable from the USB port on the monitor to the USB port on the computer. So first off, that's why one of the reasons why this isn't going to work. The OSD software does require a USB connection from the monitor to the computer. The G34 WQC does not have a USB port either uh, to allow you to plug in things or to connect the monitor to the computer. So I went through the effort of installing the OSD Sidekick software from the website for one of the other monitors um, and then I tried to launch it and this happens. Can't find device. So I'm pretty sure this requires a USB connection. I don't think I can make the necessary connection to reach HDMI alone. I don't think OSD Sidekick is ever going to work on this model. Okay, just to show you, G-Sync is enabled uh, in all Windows and full screen mode. It's checked down here. G-Sync is most definitely on. I've had it on for a week or two now, and I've played everything from No Man's Sky to Hades to um, Counter-Strike, Rainbow Six Siege, Avengers. Um, I, if you look at my channel, I've got probably a dozen new games that I've played, I've got videos of, and all those have run on this monitor with G-Sync turned on for, the, for most of those without any problems. So just to continue on the flickering issue, uh, I have not encountered it in any applications or any games other than DaVinci Resolve. This is something I use for some of my video editing. Uh, and right now I've got G-Sync turned on both in applications uh, in full screen and windowed and watch this it's at 144 when i start moving my mouse around i start getting that flickering and look at the frames per second i turned it on in the osd just because i noticed this it drops down to 49 which is the like 48 is the lower limit for for free sync if i remember correctly on this monitor and it like it locks it there um if i move my mouse around i get like this flickering and at the same time, I get a lot of frames per second fluctuations. It's very strange. I haven't been able to test this fully because this is the only real application I get this problem on. Um, but it's something to think about. I, I really think that the flickering has something to do with the frames per second. Um, what I might suggest, just if, if you are getting a lot of this, maybe turn on your OSD frames per second setting, and it'll actually give you this on-screen display of what your monitor's hertz are currently at, which can be different from your frames per second. I found, you know, I've, I've had Counter-Strike running at, you know, 200 frames per second, but the monitor's still running at 144 because that's the max by default. Um, so maybe turn on your OSD and see if there's some discrepancy between the frames being reported in the game and being shown on the monitor. Um, and if you've got any thoughts on what this might mean, leave a comment below. I'm still really confused by this aspect. You know, a lot of people have reported this flickering issue in a lot of games, whereas I've played, you know, more than a dozen, 
the only place I can reproduce this problem is specifically in this one application. So if you've got any comments, any thoughts, leave a message below. So just to reiterate, um, you can't overclock the monitor. I don't think you should, unless you can figure out a way to fix the frame dropping of the monitor. Um, the OSD sidekick does not work, though I can't find anywhere where that it was promised that it would work. It's not in the manual. It's not in any of the literature I can find. So it's a no go. And the flickering, some people are getting it. I'm getting it in one single application. Um, if anyone's got any ideas there, let me know. Uh, I'm just running some tests in the background just so you can kind of see the uh, UFO test, the text scrolling and stuff like that. I'm just gonna talk over it. Um, overall, I'm really impressed with the monitor. There obviously are people having flickering problems. It's pretty limited for myself. Um, it works really well for gaming. There's a very little minor light bleed in the top left corner. The built-in speakers are basically crap, but who would use those anyways? And then you've got the flickering issue. So if you buy this and you experience the flickering problem, you know, it, if that's too much for you, I would return it. It only happens with G-Sync on, so as long as you can maintain 144 frames per second, you really don't need G-Sync on. But I know that's something that's, you know, advertised G-Sync compatibility and it's not working for some people. Um, th that's a deal breaker for you, then I would return the monitor. But for me, I'm really impressed with it. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I, I, you know, I'm really loving this monitor compared to my old 60 Hertz monitor. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out some of my other videos. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, maybe think about subscribing. You know, I don't have any ads. I'm not making money here. Um, this isn't a free product. I bought this with my own hard earned cash. But uh, subscribing lets me know there are people out there watching and maybe I should keep going. So think about it. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.